Hi, first grade. Today we are going to go over day 39. Our office hours are from 9.15 to 10.15 and 1.15 to 2.15. Remember to continue submitting your student work and your teacher will upload it and provide feedback. This is the work that we are going to go over today. In math, you are going to need your math journal in order to complete this activity. So for your solve and share, find different 3D shapes around your home and put them together to create new 3D shapes. Draw a picture of the new shapes you created in your math journal. So I went around my house and I looked for a sphere and a cone for my new 3D shape. Inside my house, I found a soccer ball and an empty ice cream cone. I put those two shapes together to create an ice cream cone. Now it's your turn to look around your house and find different 3D shapes that you can put together to create a new one. Try to come up with at least three new 3D shapes. If you need some support with that, there is an optional video that goes into a little bit more detail. This link will be in the description below or in your Daily Dojo message. Your next activity is to complete the exit ticket on page 10. For day 39, number one, circle the object that can be made by combining a cone and cylinder. So circle the object that can be made by combining a cone and cylinder. Number two, Ellen uses two of the same shape to build a bigger 3D shape. Her new figure has two flat surfaces and zero corners. What two shapes did Ellen use? What bigger shape did Ellen build? In reading, you have a reading lesson video for day 39. The link is in the description or in your daily dojo message. You're gonna read or listen to the text, Helpful Birds and Birds as Human Helpers. And you're gonna think and talk about why people should help birds. Choose your two most compelling or the two best reasons for why people should help birds. Record your notes on your graphic organizer. So today is very important because you're going to need this writing for the next day to, to complete your opinion writing. So these are the two paragraphs you will need. So it's a good idea to pause on this page and on this video so that you can read these on here as well as copy down your sentence starters to help you. So the question is, why should we help birds? Your introduction is going to introduce the topic or what you will be writing about. So our introduction is, birds are found all around and are very important to people. Go ahead and copy that down as your introduction. Your opinion statement is telling the reader your opinion about a topic or what you think about it. So your sentence starter is, I think, and you're gonna tell us what you think. Right here, all you're doing is just stating your opinion. Now you're going to give reasons why you think that. So your reasons tell the reader why you have the opinion, okay? You're gonna get these reasons from the text. Make sure to use evidence from the text. So your sentence starters are, people should help birds because, and another reason people should help birds is. So you're going to give two reasons why you should help birds. You can find both of these reasons in these texts. Now your conclusion, I did not give you a sentence starter because it's your challenge, I'm giving you a challenge to do it yourself. So your conclusion wraps up your paragraph and reminds the reader of your opinion. So all you're doing is you're restating your opinion. And our opinion is written up here. So you're restating it, what your opinion is. For word work, you're going to sort it out by creating a tree map. These are vowel teams and that make the long vowel sound. Y is not a vowel team, but it does make that long vowel sound. So we have E, E, O, O, and Y. You're going to use your list of words on page 20 all the way in the back of your packet to fill out this tree map.
So I have feed, meet, room, tune, misty, and pretty. You have an optional activity of trying to find other words that have long vowel sounds spelled with E, E, O, O, or Y. Look in a book or look around your home and add them to your tree map. So these are long vowel sounds that you're looking for. In social studies, your topic today is faster and slower. So today I want you to walk around your house and find an object that you can both push and pull. Experiment to make the object go faster or slower with a push. What did you notice? Now try to make the object go faster or slower with a pull. What, did, what do you notice? Fold a piece of paper in half, label the top faster, label the bottom slower. Draw a picture in each section and write a sentence to explain what you observed. So in science, an example that I found in my home outside I, was I found a lawnmower. I found that it goes faster when I push it down a hill. But I also noticed it goes slower when I pull it up a hill. So you only need to find one thing, but you need to tell us what you found out about when you pushed it faster or slower, or if you pulled it faster and slower. So these are your sentence starters. I found a mm, it goes faster when mm, it goes slower when. So tell us when it goes faster and when it goes slower. These are your specials for this week. If you have any questions, make sure you stay on with your teacher for office hours and they will be happy to help you.